this you have absolutely not found me from my successful youtube channel you've probably been following me hopefully for a while from instagram and you're curious about my first attempt at vlogging i have spent the last three years growing my business online and i have never actually spoken on camera and i'm really wildly uncomfortable right now i think a lot of people would hate hearing themselves on camera that's why i haven't done it I don't like it. For those of you who don't know, my name is Ailey and I'm a watercolour artist. I create maps. I live in Scotland on the Isle of Lewis and I have a map to show you. This is Scotland and I live on this island. It's called the Isle of Hebrides and I live on the Isle of Lewis. Um, and it's pretty unique, pretty, pretty wild place. So I thought it would be interesting to spend the year showing you what a life is like as an artist in the Outer Hebrides. I got this fancy camera and I need to use it and learn how to use it. So I thought why not play around with a video and get to know how to edit and try my hand at YouTubing and becoming a YouTube star. This isn't for views or to grow my business. This is purely for me to have fun and to try and get to know my camera so please don't judge me if it's bad this is my first one and uh, it'll be interesting as you can see it's sunny so i'm obviously not in scotland i'm actually in uh, nice france and i'm gonna go downtown and work from a cafe and i thought it'd be pretty cool to take you with me and show you the town of nice and not up to anything interesting just to show you <laughs> so uh let's get the bus Because when I was 24 I watched one too many episodes of uh, Below Deck and my mother used to be a yacht stewardess and she would tell me some wild stories so I thought I'm gonna do that so I uh, started researching how to be a yacht stewardess and spent a thousand pounds on getting a, a qualifications in Antibes and I came here and while I was getting my qualifications I uh, stayed with some family friends so Immediately I had some friends immerse me in the French culture. All of a sudden I was going to French parties and hanging out with French people and it was so new, especially for me coming from a tiny island. It was so refreshing just to hear the language and the sun and to eat pizza on the beach and just get to know new people. It was so, so much fun. And eventually I got a job as a yacht stewardess which lasted four days. When I got back to Nice to start again and try find another job as a yacht stewardess, I was like, I don't think I want to do that. I just want to stay here. And so I applied for the local Irish bar 
and uh, they were like, yeah, you can, you can work in this bar. So I had a job in Nice. So one day after a busy shift at the bar, I wanted to paint something and I remembered this journal I had when I did my gap year in Australia and it was a map of the Outer Hebrides with the word home on it. And I remembered how much that made me feel, made me feel a bit more safe, safer. I can't even explain what it was. And so I drew a map of the Isle of Lewis, of my home, and I put gold over my village where I was born and just made me feel a bit better about being in France. So then I put it on Etsy and I didn't expect much. And I said I could put gold over your home. And I started getting commissions for the Isle of Skye, the Isle of Arran, gold over where they were married, where they met, road trips, just started growing arms and legs and I couldn't believe it. It just got bigger and bigger and bigger and I was like shy to tell people at work that I had an Etsy shop. I, I felt really, I don't know, kind of stupid. I don't know. I don't know how I felt but I didn't like telling people that I did art. I don't know why. I just had so little confidence in my, I don't know. I was like, I don't know. And so orders just grew and grew and, and before I knew it I was like pretty much full time with Etsy but also full time at the bar. So I was always stressed actually. I really wish I had uh, just didn't work as much and enjoyed that summer and it's still amazing but uh, I was just always working because I was so determined to get out that bar. Uh, I eventually got robbed which wasn't that surprising actually when you're traveling that late at night all the time. So that wasn't great. Police didn't do much. Uh, so I kind of had to quit my bar job because I just I couldn't travel at night time anymore. So I was kind of forced to work on my Etsy shop, which was actually the greatest thing ever. Then 2020, Covid hit and I was pretty sure like no one's gonna have money to buy maps. But everyone was online and it just grew and grew and grew and grew and I was so busy just always working. I was like obsessed with this business. <laughs> so I spent most of, yeah, the whole of 2020 in France working from home. And then Christmas time of 2020, I decided to go back home just for the winter because it was always so busy for Christmas and I needed to get presents out before the 25th. And when you're working from France and you've got the international post, it's a uh, not great. So I just thought I would come home for Christmas. But, uh, you know, Brexit happened, so I needed a visa to come back. My relationship had failed in France. I kind of realised I didn't actually have that much in France. Whereas in Scotland, I had this growing business. Orders coming in all the time. Shops were reopening and ordering massive orders, which I needed to fulfil really fast. And um, it just kind of grew and grew and grew, and I never went back to France. Back to live in Nice for the winter months has been so nice to just relax and feel the sun on my face. It's also been quite sad at the same time. I was really sure I was going to live here and I was going to become a French girly and I was going to learn French and never leave, never return to Scotland. Um, but that didn't happen. But at the same time, I would never have made the business as big as it is if I had stayed. And I would never have believed how big it could have been. And I remind myself that I've got a really like the cutest shop in Stornoway. And I'm gonna have a really busy summer. So I don't feel too sad for too long because I'm really, really lucky. And even the fact that I'm speaking on camera and trying to make YouTube videos, I would have never believed you if you had told me that the girl that was working in the bar four years ago, she would have never have believed you. Never. She was always so scared of everything and so nervous. And my business has given me so much confidence to do literally whatever I want, whatever the world throws at me, I can, I can do now. So yeah, I... Hope you've enjoyed.
my first YouTube video. Hopefully when I get back to Scotland, I'll be able to show you a bit more of my life and more interesting things about my art. But for now, I'm working on my laptop and I'm kind of just roaming around doing nothing. This is literally the first video I've ever made and it's hard. These past 12 hours playing video producer, I have learned that it is really, really hard. <laughs> I have a newfound respect for people who do this as their jobs. I definitely need a tripod. My camera has fallen over a million times. What I've enjoyed, it kind of makes you look at things differently. You look at the boring stuff to see if you can make them interesting and it kind of gets you out walking and just trying to find something to do. So yeah, it's been a lesson. But I'm glad I did it and I'm gonna really try stick at it. I hope my first video hasn't been too boring and hopefully my next one I'll be back in Scotland and I'll get to show you guys more of my art and around the shop. But for now, thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. And I gotta do some work on the YouTube thing but I'll get there. Cheers.